<laughs> what a story, Mark. How to suck the most ass possible. A question that I ask myself a lot. And thankfully, I've never been able to answer. But this movie does. What is this movie, you ask? Well, let me introduce you. This is The Room, also known as the worst movie ever made. But I'm pretty sure most of you already knew that. The movie came out in 2003, and to this day, at least in my opinion, no other movie has beaten it in sucking. And that says a lot. Today we are going to be diving into why this movie is so bad, so we can try and avoid the mistakes it made. Although I'm pretty sure every screenwriter will easily be able to avoid mistakes like these. I didn't know it was you. Here you go. That's me. How much is it? It'll be $18. Here you go. Keep the change. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Thanks a lot. Bye. Oh. I mean, there are already quite a few videos that talk about them. But what I'm going to be focusing on today are the performance of Johnny, portrayed by Tommy Wiseau, who also is the star, writer, and director of this piece of shit, and also the character of Lisa, his wife. The bitch. But before we jump into this, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. The story goes like this. Johnny is supposedly a successful banker who lives a happy life with his fiancée Lisa. But she decides one day for some mysterious reason that she's bored of him and doesn't want him anymore. I'm not feeling good today. Well, why not? I don't love him anymore. Why don't you love him anymore? Tell me. And so she goes after his best friend, Mark. Hello? Hey, baby. How you doing? Now, there are quite a lot of people that would call Tommy Wiseau's portrayal for Johnny bad. And I would definitely agree with them. Actually, I would classify it more as a piece of... It is arguably the worst performance in film history. At least I don't understand it. Why am I being so harsh on him, though? Well, see for yourself. Client at the bank will make a lot of money. What client? I cannot tell you. It's confidential. Oh, come on. Why not? No, I can't. Anyway, how is your sex life? Did I make any of that up? It's his writing and his acting. On a serious note, though, Tommy Wiseau's acting was so bad that you don't believe it's real. It feels more like him trying to parody serious actors. But he wasn't. This was supposed to be a real drama about a cheating wife and her husband. I mean, watch this amazing movie, The Disaster Artist, on the true story behind the making of The Room. And you'll see the real delusions of Tommy. The production of the movie itself was a stressful environment. Very stressful. Tommy Wiseau was getting very angry because he was losing a lot of money on the movie. Six million dollars, in fact. And so, none of the actors really were in their element. And that's probably why everybody in this movie, especially Johnny and Lisa, look like robots or aliens trying to emulate human behavior. A lot of people talk about this scene and how it serves no purpose in the actual story. Oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't know it was you. Here you go. That's me. How much is it? It'll be $18. Here you go. Keep the change. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Thanks a lot. Bye. That's it. That's my comment. I mean, come on. Do you really need any explanation as to why this is so bad? Tommy Wiseau doesn't act in the movie. He says words that he memorized out loud. A bitch told me that I would get it within three months. I saved them bundles. They're crazy. I don't think I will ever get it. They betrayed me, they didn't keep their promise, they tricked me and I don't care anymore. There is nothing behind the words he says. There isn't any layers. And that doesn't just go for the character of Johnny. Because of how bad the writing of the script is, every character, with good acting or without, looks bad. Let's talk about the dialogue, because oh my god it is bad. First of all, the fact that most of the time Johnny tries to speak like a normal person. That's what he'd written. Well, and uh, uh, she was sitting, drinking her coffee. 
it doesn't work obviously but what i mean is like you know the written dialogue for johnny's character is trying to seem normal like everyday life and so a lot of the time johnny is mumbling with ums and errs and whatnot and i'm sorry but there's only one filmmaker on earth that can emulate realistic dialogue into a movie lisa the bitchiest character in human existence the character while this movie was like really bad you get a few giggles sometimes from the dumb dialogue but she made the movie so so much worse she's worse than skylar and the number one reason for that is tommy wiseau the guy clearly had a relationship which ended badly and he's trying to base lisa on his ex they mentioned that in the disaster artist but of course, it's from his point of view, and so the character came out so fucked up. Kill them. Mark, we're free to be together. I love you. I love you. Tramp. You killed him. You're the cause of all of this. Like, for example, the movie starts with this scene where the couple is very happy playing around with this creep, Denny. Don't get me started on him. And then they have sex for like five full minutes. That scene is followed by basically the second scene in the movie in which Lisa is sitting with her mother and she tells her that she doesn't want Johnny anymore. I don't love him anymore. What the fuck? Like, what the hell? Out of nowhere with no build up whatsoever, the movie didn't waste any time and made her confess in the second fucking scene. While directors like Tarantino spend so much time building tension to finally give us the grand amazing payoff Tommy Wiseau decides to use the opposite route of spilling everything immediately I don't love Johnny anymore I don't even like him I don't understand who don't waste any time and so the main reason why all of us hate Lisa so much is because she blurts everything out in front of everyone she literally says that she doesn't love Johnny anymore and that she loves Mark like a thousand times. I don't love him anymore. I like you very much. Lover boy. I love you. I love Mark. I don't have any more feelings for Johnny. I like you very much, Mark. You know, I love you very much. I love you. <laughs> so to conclude, there are many reasons why this movie sucks dick. So for me to sit here and talk about them all would be like me trying to tell you why Ron Swanson is so awesome. And that just ain't no realistic expectation of me. I know more than you. But, you know, to narrow it down to a couple of things, I would have to say everything. Every single second of this movie sucks more than the one before. The acting. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. The writing. What client? I cannot tell you. It's confidential. Oh, come on. Why not? No, I can't. Anyway, how is your sex life? The dumb shots. The fact that we got four full sex scenes in the first 30 minutes of the movie. Claudette, Lisa's mother, saying that she has cancer like it's nothing and also it being something that never comes back in the movie. I got the results of the test back. I definitely have breast cancer. Look, don't worry about it. Everything will be fine. Fuck. So please, if you like this movie, don't ever watch any of my videos ever again. Thank you very much. Hey guys, I just wanted to say thank you so very, very much for 10 subscribers. I know it might not seem like much, but I've been working really, really hard for the past couple of months and to see some appreciation for it is just incredible. So thank you.